Hi, I'm Jeff Copeland, service team member with Yetter Farm Equipment. Welcome to the 5000 Dock Devastator installation video. The Devastator is a useful tool used to save tires and manage residue by rolling over and crimping the stock, keeping the stock to the soil surface, accelerating residue breakdown. We will be installing the Devastator on a John Deere 608 C corn head using the 5000-026A model Devastator kit. Before we get started, there's a few things that we need to cover. Now that we have all our safety items checked off and all our parts are accounted for, let's begin installation. And we'll start by mounting the first mounting bracket between row one and two. Now this 608C corn head will take these two mounting straps for the mounting bracket. If you have an 893, you'll use this L bracket as included in the kit. And uh, the reason for this is because there's a gusset welded on the frame. So we'll use this on the 893. A couple things to remember. We want to make sure that we're off to the side of the, the snoot bracket here. And we also want to make sure that in the event that you adjust your deck plates here, that when this comes out, we don't interfere. Now that we have our mounting bracket fastened, our support straps are installed, and our lockup pins are in the storage location, now we're ready to mount our first pivot arm. One thing we want to remember when we install a pivot arm is these brackets are offset, and so when we have this offset bracket, we want to make sure it kicks back underneath the snoot and not underneath the gathering chains. We've got our mounting bracket secure, our pivot arms are in place. So let's move on to the installation of the roller mount tube. And we're going to do that by using 
these spacers and bolts and put them into the C-clamp. Do not tighten them until we're all the way done mounting the rollers. center two rows it's important we get the pivot arms in the correct position so we've left them loose so we can move them if we need to this mounting tab goes in between this gap here it's called an overbearing arm mount mount in place now we're going to mount the roller let's put the large washer on the shaft of the barrel then we're going to put the bearing on it's very important to put the bearing on correctly there's a portion of the barrel bearing that's protruding past the cast and that's the side that goes towards the barrel if you mount it backwards when you go to mount your roller it won't roll it'll be locked up tight so we want to make sure we mount the bearing correctly so it rolls freely Mounting the roller to the roller arm mount, the manual shows a left and a right. There's really no right or wrong way to do it. Whenever I mount one, I always put the rebar leading and the traction bar right behind that. Before tightening the clamp on the roller arm mount, it's very important that we have clearance on the end of the corn head frame. So we want to lower the corn head down or you can take the springs loose and, and pick the roller up. Just make sure you have clearance with the frame here. Now that the Devastator kit has been installed, please go through and check all the hardware and tighten it to torque specification. Find the torque specification chart in your operator owner's manual on behalf of Yetter Farm Equipment. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please call 800-447-5777 or you can add us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel for further updates. Again, thank you for watching.